Welcome to Bahia Principe in Cancun, Mexico, with four mini resorts in one. We stayed at Acomal, and on arrival, they provided us with the welcome champagne. It's too hot! Since this resort was super huge, you need to get on one of these carts to realistically visit the other mini resorts in this heat. If you've heard of all-inclusive resorts and Cancun, Mexico being an affordable trip for what it's worth, it really is. Seven days of all your food, drinks, stay, and flights for 1600 Canadian, although other resorts can range from 1200 to 1900 depending on your resort. The water looks so blue. Of the four mini resorts, Shinkan is their adults only resort a little further from the others, so we got our first drink in Mexico and then found one of their pools to cool off. This resort offers a choice of one fine dining a la carte restaurant from the total of nine every day. So we chose every dinner to dress up for it while trying all the other different buffet options for breakfast and lunches. Going to our first dinner! After getting a sneak peek of the resort, we got ready and went to Dolce Vita for our first dinner. Just heading down to get some snacks and coffee. We explored their beaches in the early morning and found the employees working hard to clean the seaweed off the shores so it looks clean later in the day. were still empty so we took a morning dip before our first breakfast buffet. There were a variety of beverages and breakfast meats like bacon, sausages, chorizo, ground meat and also different types of eggs and different types of potatoes, different types of bread and different types of vegetables. They also had an omelette station where you give the lady your gathered desired ingredients and she cooks right in front of you.
all explored the resort called Koba that day and their pools. What I love about these all-inclusive resorts are their many, many pools and the swim-up bars. You have easy access to any drink you want, alcoholic or virgin. Although tip is not expected, you can bring one USD bills and tip if you feel generous. At night after our dinner at Mashua, we visited Hacienda Donna Isabel, which is their small shopping square of souvenirs, a stage with more bars and a casino. Oh, this is nice. On the way back to Akumal, there was a music event where you choose a channel on their headphones and each color will have a different song. From an outsider's point of view, there is no music and you're just watching people dance. Day three was the day we scheduled an all-day tour package to one of the wonders of the world, Chichen Itza and Sumana Cenote. We went to an ancient Mayan city, Koba, in Yucatan Peninsula and saw many monumental ruins, rode a Mayan taxi through the forest, and learned about the Mayan calendar. An Uber. This is a Mayan Uber. <laughs> We made a quick stop in the city of Valladolid with its own historic charms despite it being less tourist oriented. It boasts a unique blend of colonial architecture and Mayan influence. It's recently emerged for tourism and offers visitors and tour groups to experience the natural beauty of Yucatan Peninsula. Finally, one of the most iconic and well-preserved archaeological site in Mexico. One of the seven wonders of the world. The most famous structure at Chichen Itza is the Temple of Cucucan, also known as the El Castillo. Chichen Itza! If you stand directly in front and clap, you will hear echoes of your clap resembling a song of the sacred birds. Three. There you go! During the spring and autumn equinoxes, the sunlight creates a shadow on the pyramid that resembles the serpent slithering down the stairs, an incredible testament to the Mayans' understanding of astronomy and the reverence for the feathered serpent god, Kukulkan. 
why because it absorbs a lot of energy that's why they just use it for the hot sun massage at your hotel Have the good spirit and as well the good love, you know. As well, you have to wait. You have to fire. Ah. Chumuk. 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 Quick tawa. Quick tawa. <laughs> Itchy. 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 Mm. Oh, good, huh? Tastes good. After a buffet lunch, we finally got to cool off in the cenote. Cenotes are natural sinkholes in Cancun, each looking very different. These are my favorite parts of Cancun, swimming in the different cenotes while being immersed in the nature. We checked out the sports bar after dinner, took some shots, and played some pool. Cheers! Let's go. After sunrise at 5.30 a.m., we decided today was the day to give the boys their matching trunks and they had no idea until we met up. Today we checked out the pools at the Tulum Resort. They lost their waboba ball and a crow that guarded it was angry. The staff at the poolside snack bar were wanting their pictures taken, but I think I just wanted my tacos. You want to take a picture? Come in. Take a 
After it started raining, Arthur and I explored some smaller pools further into the resort and found some poolside beds. It's raining so hard. <laughs> As everyone hid under the huts, we thought swimming in the Cancun rain was a vibe. Cleaned up and shower and met for dinner at La Gran Tortuga, serving various Brazilian grilled meats sliced in front of you. The fruit and dessert section always gets me, but you have to be careful of eating fruit washed with their tap water, as tap water is not drinkable in Mexico. Bahia Principe offers two shows that you can pre-book, so as we waited at the hub of Tulum, I got some Mayan coffee mixed with liquor that was lit up in flames. It was really strong and hot, but so special. The story Origins that we watched is about the culture and traditions of Mexico, showing the journey of sacred Mother Earth, protective spirits, spiritual legends represented through color, dance, and acrobats. After sunset, Arthur and I went back to Shin Khan for the breakfast buffet and was one of the better ones we found, with someone making fresh omelets and a variety of fresh fruits. This morning, we all rented cars to drive nearby for a cenote swim. After lunch at a local taco place called Burrito Street, we parked in the city center and shopped their local stores. We hadn't researched a ton about Tulum prior, but next time I would go to the strip of resorts in Tulum by the waters and check out all of their resorts, restaurants, lush jungles, and white sand beaches. Got some ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> what flavors did we get? Ate de guiaba. And? And queso de bola. Early next morning, we drove nearby to the small town Acumol, 15 minutes from us, by 8 a.m. to swim with sea turtles. You can find many sea turtle snorkeling groups that try to sell you a high price, but we went with Acumol Dive Shop for a decent price and a welcoming guide. They fit you with the right snorkel, show you your locker, and take you out on their boat to the snorkeling area and explain to you how to safely look at them while keeping your distance. We went at a good time just prior to all the outside tour groups that came and made the water murkier. I hadn't swam in a long time so trying to film, catch my breath, and keep my snorkel on was difficult. I'm also a nose breather so I would forget and that would cause my snorkel to fall off. Okay. 
Prior to dinner at Alouche at Shinkan, we checked out their pool, which was smaller and definitely all adults, so it was calmer and quieter. <laughs> Alux? No. Alouche. As you can tell, all these restaurants love to pour soup or sauce onto the dish. Our last morning in Cancun, of course Arthur and I went to catch the sunrise again. 5 a.m. early mornings every day, but it was so worth it. You really get to see the resort and feel the ocean waves without anyone else around. Las Corrales was one of the last breakfast buffets to have, and it was beside the infinity pool, so it was perfect. This was our last pool dip before heading to the airport. Last day. We just checked out and we're gonna head to our bus. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about all-inclusive resorts as this was my second experience. Yeah. <laughs>